Hey guys, this is Chris again, and we're in part three now of creating your website from scratch. Uh, again, before all we did so far was we created the structure of our HTML document for our homepage, and we set the background color of the homepage. Now it's time to set up the structure of the content for your first homepage. We're going to set up a, an area for a banner, um, an, another area to create a navigation menu, and then the third area is going to be for your content. Okay, so the best way to do that is to set up tables. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a table inside the body tag with table. And we need to give the table some style. So we're going to make sure that the style has a width of 700 pixels. 700 pix. And we want to give it a height of just 100 pixels. So again, this first table is just for the banner. So we're going to have a 700 pixel wide banner uh, by 100 pixel height. Okay, and we have to end that with a semicolon. And then we're going to say background dash color, just like the page, but for this time it's going to be for the table. It's background dash color colon white. Okay, and that semicolon ends that. And then you want to put a quote to end it. Let me just expand this to show you. So table style width 700, 100 height, background color white. Okay. And we also want to make sure that the table alignment is centered. Okay. So that's not a part of style. It's its own attribute. So we're still inside the table tag. Right. So we want to come out here outside the quote and just say align equals quote center end quote and we don't want any padding or cell spacing so we can just say cell spacing equals quote zero and cell padding equals quote zero and then you're done with that opening table tag so you can close your bracket there okay so that's all you need to start off at that part. I'm going to break this off so that way you can kind of see that better. So that way you can see the whole tag. So now, since we started a table tag up here, we have to end our table tag. Just like that, with a forward slash. Now inside the table, like a normal table, tables have rows and columns. So to start off a new row, it's open bracket tr close bracket and you also need to end your row at some point so there you have it so anytime you want to define a column we need at least one column to actually be called have it be called a table so to start a column it's just td and you have to end the td so right now we have one column okay if you wanted to add more columns you would just create more tds and things like that inside of your first row. So right now we're looking at a one row, one column dimensioned table. Okay, that's what this represents. Okay, so our background color is white. Everything looks good there. We have the ending tag. I'm going to bring this back here. All right, and let's see what that looks like so far. I'm going to hit save and refresh. Okay. So we have our first table. I'll maximize this now. And it gives you a good idea. You can see that the table is centered inside the browser. And it wouldn't really matter how wide your computer monitor is. Um, if you had a really wide monitor, wide screen, um, this olive color would continue stretching, continue stretching for infinity. But the table itself would only be a static dimension of 700 by 100 pixels. Okay, so that's your first table. Okay, let's create another table for your navigation menu. I'm going to come down below this first table, and I want a little bit of space in between the tables right now, just so I know how I'm, where I'm working. So I'm just going to add a break tag. That's br for break. That's kind of like a hard return. All right, so I'm basically just going to use almost all the same attributes here that I used for my first table. So I'm just going to copy this and 
I'm going to use it again down here. Reuse is great. The only difference is I don't want my height to be 100 pixels okay, for my navigation. I just want it to be 30. That's the only difference here. So I'm just going to bring that and make it 30. So that way we have it going 700 pixels, but it's only going to be 30 pixels high. All right. So let's see what that looks like. File, save, and refresh. Okay. So we have our banner section. And this, again, right now I'm calling it a container. And we have our navigation container. Looks good so far. Let's add one more table to create a container for your content on the page or your specific content for your home page. So I'm going to copy this table one more time. And it looks like down here I need to add everything else that I had in the first table. So I also need that. If you caught that, that's good. All right, so that's your second table. I'm going to copy that second table. I'm going to add another break in between my second and third table, and I'm just going to paste that table again. And this time, for the height, I wanted to I want that white zone to stretch as far down as the browser will allow. So instead of it being a height of 30 pixels, we're just going to say 100%. Okay, The width will always be 700 pixels, but we want the height to go 100%. That's the only difference. Okay, That looks good. So I'm going to save and refresh again. And there you have it. We have our banner container our navigation container and our content container. You can see that'll stretch down all the way to the bottom of the page. In our next exercise what we'll do is we'll start bumping the content container like the banner will bump it all the way to the very top so that way we don't see this olive color at the top. We'll stretch the content container all the way to the bottom so you don't see the olive at the bottom and we'll make some other fine-tuning adjustments. Thanks for watching.